Hey everybody, Mercat here, and I'm super happy to tell you that we can finally play Roots of Pacha on Switch and PlayStation. <laughs> and it got crossplay too. <laughs> Not only that, but we also got some major stuffs coming in, and I'm super thankful to the Sodadan team for letting me have a quick peek on the upcoming stuffies. So now, I present to you the new stuffs added in Roots of Pacha. Let's go! We have a new animal called Aurox that gives milk and fur, so this means more money. You can find these animals at the savannah starting on year 2, and you have to attune them 4 times to fully tame them and invite them to your animal sheds. Just like the other animals, the Aurox has 2 rare versions and 1 legendary version. The rare ones are the cute white ones and the gold ones, and the legendary version is the flaming orange one. I don't know about you, but this got me super excited for some weird reason. We can now sit on furniture, and it restores stamina too. This got me so excited because, if you remember, I got a lot of these chill spots, petting areas, and even an altar that has benches, and this new feature just kinda completes it. Vada is also romanceable now. We get to know more about her and her past, and if you've been waiting for this but kinda settled with someone else already, then great news because Pajans also learned about divorce too. You just have to go to Vuwak if you want to break your union. This is my favorite part of the update, like for real. Because it's been a while since I've last opened my Roots of Pacha save, I got super happy to receive a heckin' lot of gifts, like their gifts range from recipes to actual food, headwear, and even some exclusive furniture. My favorites are Vada's flower headband that I'm currently wearing, and it's awesome because she will compliment you when you wear it. I also adore Inza's cutie bird fountain thing, and I also like Jack's little swing. It complements my playground. Oh, and you'd also get two accessories once you befriend Grob and Vuak. Grob's gift is the Hunter Claw, a ring that increases meat quality, which you will probably need if you choose to activate butchering or if you want to use traps. On the other hand, Vuak's gift is the Tree Ring, a ring that prevents friendship decay. Not only do you get exclusive gifts, but from time to time, NPCs will send common gifts through the smoke signal, so the smoke signals kinda act as our mail now. Speaking of butchering and traps, we can now get our own meat by blazing traps or sending animals to Grub. If you don't like that though, then you can always disable butchering by talking to Grub. For the traps, all you gotta do is interact with spots like these and then it'll trigger a quest. It will make you talk to Oka and then she will give you the trap blueprints. There are three traps for various meat. The bird trap are used for white meat, box traps are for red meat, and the stone traps are for both. For the mini game, all you gotta do is hit the green mark for higher chances of better quality meat. Ada also has a new idea, and those are the mushroom and herb growers. You just gotta give her 10 hardwood, 1 mushroom, and 1 herb, and after a few days, she will give you the blueprints for the growers. There are also a couple of new cutscenes for non romanceable NPCs like Jin, Teddy, and many more. Most of the new cutscenes show the relationship of the NPCs with each other, like how Grandpa loves to pull pranks on his sister, and how cute Bra and Boar's brotherly relationship is. Magic Tree Fruit prices are also slightly lowered, and we also got a new one called Infinity Yama. This magic fruit prevents the animal from getting sick. Race maps were also given a glow up to make it easier for us to find the proper path and probably get distracted by the awesome view so that Jelrod could probably win. Fish also has quality now for making high quality fish dishes. There's also a couple of performance optimizations added as well as Japanese support. For the future updates, the Sodadan team are also brewing some pretty big stuff. We're getting two new regions which would probably be the Yakuan and Margani settlements. Children will also be able to grow up on the next major update, and we're also getting plants and animal evolution. I am very excited for those upcoming updates, but what about you? What do you like on this current update, and what are you looking forward to the most? Let me know in the comments! Super thanks to our channel members for your kind support as always, and to Karen and so do then for gifting me with 3 keys for a giveaway! So what you waiting for? My dear humans, like, share, subscribe, and join our Discord channel to participate. The giveaway will end on December 2, 2023. Alrighty, that's it for now. If you need any Roots of Pacha guides in preparation, then check out this playlist above. Bye bye